Libra, welcome to your February 2018 reading. So this month is going to be a very powerful month. I'm going to focus on what's happening for you with the sun in your fifth house. But I'm also going to try to work intuitively much more. Obviously I'm going to be looking at some cards as well and we'll be looking at a little bit of astrology. But let's just go with the, the general energies for you. So with your sun in fifth house, you're going to be really wanting to get love, play and creativity right. You're going to want to have some fun. You're going to want to express yourself creatively much more. You're going to just want to feel as if you're having a good time. And you're going to want to be releasing um, anything that feels burdensome, anything that feels like obligations, anything that feels like you're weighed down by what's expected of you in the community, um, the, the 11th house, all those 11th house issues, that's going to be what you're releasing. A, a deep sense of, um, of heaviness anywhere that your sense of belonging is triggered or tested or you're second guessing yourself or wondering whether it's right, whether it's working for you, whether it's making you happy, you're going to really be wanting to focus on your inner joy. You're going to really want to be focusing on what it is that really really makes you happy it it feels as if the time has come for you to throw off the shackles that keep you bound and to go after your own happiness and that isn't to say that you walk away from a community or that you you know ditch um, situations that you love and feel comfortable in and feel attached to and feel a sense of um, of, of of love for. It just means you need to be free to feel some joy, to feel more excitement in your creations and to feel able to enjoy any new adventures that present themselves but really enjoy them. So you're creating new community in some cases or you're adding to old community, maybe community is even growing, um, but it's definitely a sense of releasing the community that just doesn't work anymore and anywhere that you just don't feel that you belong anymore, anything especially that just isn't fun anymore. Okay, so let's see how that goes with the, what the cards say. We're going to look at the first, oh, we just got a flyer there. Oh, that's nice. Light. Okay, so trust the light, trust your inner lights. Things are lighting up around you. You've got lots of wishes coming, lots of beautiful things opening up and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aquarian kind of energy around you, pushing you forward, telling you that this is the time, the time is now, don't dawdle, don't hesitate, just go for it, trust the light, trust what you know, trust what you already feel, um, trust the signs around you, trust what's lighting up, trust what is light, and move away from what is heavy. So, where are we going with the angel cards? Ooh, just got a shiver there. Okay, release any heavy or dark energy that does not serve you anymore, Libra. It's a time for lightness and celebration. You've earned it. Okay, so the first week could be a bit more suffering in silence for a little bit longer, a little bit of, um, you know, just allowing yourself to, to continue to be burdened with things that don't suit you anymore, that don't feel quite, quite right. Um, I feel this very much in my chest. I feel like there is a weight there. There is a sense of wanting everything to be okay, wanting everyone to get along, just wanting everyone to be okay and to be as, you know, as giving and as hopeful and as, as um, you know, I don't know, compromising if you like, willing to compromise as accommodating as you are and just finding that you're having to patch things up and, and stitch things together and make it work and, and work that energy really hard rather than when you should be enjoying something that's really joyful. You're having to focus on keeping everything harmonious for everyone else and, and trying to keep arguments at an all-time low, you know, 
around you, like one to one and in groups in that community as we, you know, with that 11th house thing that you're releasing. So step away, step away, step away from that. You are definitely um, becoming a much better mediator. I mean, that is a wonderful thing to celebrate that you've really learned that gift throughout this lifetime. And um, you're also going to be experiencing more harmony in a particular relationship, one to one. And that could be the thing that saves you, that helps you through any issues that you have around community. So hang on to that. That's, that's looking good. It's looking like quite a nice start to the month, despite that sense of, oh, I've got to bite my, bite my tongue again. Because in the second week, it feels as if that lifts. Well, got, oh, okay, nice. Foundation and achievements. So... Home is going to be, is going to feel quite supportive. Home is going to feel as if it really supports you in your new commitment to, you know, looking at what you've got, looking at who, what you've got to celebrate, looking at how you can have fun. You know, the fifth house is also about children. So it could be that there are children who come around. They could be family. They could be, it could be you spending more time with your family, but basically being able to enjoy what you've created, to enjoy what you've got so far and let go of some of the disagreements. And you've got clear cognizance and it's Archangel Uriel's card and it says, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So you are going to find that there will be solutions to things. There will be ways of moving things around that make them work a lot better, that bring more harmony, that help um, to sort of I've just heard grease the wheels to make things go more smoothly generally. But while that's happening, it's going to be focusing on your home and your foundation and your achievements um, that helps to pull you through. And, you know, and any bonds or partnerships that are really supportive and loving and there for you. And if you're looking for a partnership or a relationship, that could be a good week for you. That could be a time when you start to feel so good within yourself that you're a bit more open to it. Um, but this is definitely feels like it's got much more of a long-term feel. So this is more for those who are in a current bond already. So, um, having said that, so the fifth house is about love as well. It's very much about love. It's not just about um, fun and creativity. It's also about love. So it is definitely a possibility that you will be working on love finding true love so for some of you some of you in a bond will be questioning that bond scrutinizing it looking at it very carefully and wondering whether it's the right one for you long term those of you who are single will be saying right this year i definitely want to find that person the right person and some of you will just be saying I really want to learn to love myself and I really, really want to focus on my creative goals and my creativity this year and I really want to have much more fun in my work and in my vision and I want to let go of worrying about what people think of me. So the third week, material and spiritual prosperity. So you start to blossom as a result of committing to love, to what's really in your heart. It's often said and sometimes it sounds like a cliche but you see it time and time again that when you commit to doing what you really really love what's really in your heart and when you have a lot of joy inside you prosperity often um, follows but it's not just material prosperity spiritual prosperity is also something that can really fill you up with a great deal of satisfaction that makes um, makes up for anything else that's missing or that's that you feel you might be lacking so there's a lot of that to come, a sense of abundance, of inner abundance, a sense of things balancing out, a sense of being in control of your world again, and very clear intentions as well. You've got their crystal clear intentions, Archangel Michael's card. Be clear about what you desire, focus upon it with unwavering faith. So if you decide that you want to make a creative project work, and that you want everything to pull together to make it work, focus on that, just focus on it happening. If you decide that you want to be with the right part, person, that you want to meet someone, get out there and start making it happen. Okay, and the fourth, work, the fourth week, okay, ignited passion. So 
This is going to be a fantastic time for anyone who is working on creativity because this is the card that's all about creativity. It's all about new beginnings in creative passions. It's all about being able to express yourself and to feel that divine fire, that spark within you actually coming out and going out into the world in the form of something new, exciting, fresh and enlivening for you and for others and also there's going to be some element of teaching so if you're a teacher who created who if you're a teacher who teaches something creative or something spiritual deep spirituality if you're a spiritual teacher if you're especially if you're a kind of unusual spiritual teacher who teaches something new and leading edge this is sort of like a kundalini energy this is going to be a really exciting week and it could be a week when you take your teaching up a notch or when you decide to take it up a notch to do another really exciting venture so it's looking really great i've got to say even though fifth house is very much about love this is looking like a really exciting um spread for creative ventures and prosperity and abundance coming from creative ventures or just new adventures, new offerings, um, new courses, new teaching, new things that you bring to the world, anything that you manifest onto the physical plane through a fiery, passionate intention to, to bring something new. Um, but for those of you looking for love, it can also be a very, very passionate time as well. I'm going to pick one more card from the angels. Courage. Have courage, have the courage to, to do what you know you need to do to bring absolute joy into your life. That's what it looks like to me. So if you're holding back because you're worried about what people will think about you, if you just go for doing what you really, really love and what you really, really feel is in your heart, um, you can't hold back like that anymore. You're not going to be allowed to do that because it's going to get more and more uncomfortable for you to hold on to anything that's heavy. So February is going to be a time when you maybe finally admit that to yourself, that you need to make some changes. Maybe you need some help in managing things or changing things, or you need to just refresh things a little bit or move things around a little bit. It's not necessarily a complete change, but it's there's a change that you know will make a difference or you will definitely know around the middle of the month and you're being asked to have the courage to start um, at least thinking thinking about it very seriously <laughs> okay Libra I hope you have a fantastic February um, and uh, yeah happy February happy happy 2018 um, February because it feels like a very exciting February and hopefully I'll speak to you again soon bye